Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run, where we play Dr. Krominov, the ecologist who does not take assassination missions and does not loot armor and weapons from dead bodies, because of course they are icky. <laughs> so last time we started out in outskirts, after we finished the mission, f the artifact mission there, and we snuck through Pripyat, where we had to fight a couple of controllers, some chimeras, some lurkers, well, one chimera, and we also managed to get the artifacts that were there. One of them was in the electric anomaly to the south, right next to the parking lot, and the other one was right here in the stadium, and that was a very, very annoying artifact to get. That anomaly is always iffy because I don't think there's a way to get in and out of it without getting bopped in the head but we managed to make our way back into I forgot what this one's called Jupiter yes we managed to make our way back home to Jupiter we dropped all the stuff that we needed to drop and we made our way to our next mission giver which is this ecologist here in Zaton, in the, I think this is the factory, right? The ranger station. No idea what that thing's called, but sure. And he gave us our next mission, which will be to take the memory module from the Krug antenna complex, which I believe is actually this building right here. This is usually populated by endgame enemies, if it is, so we might meet some Unisig, we might meet Monolith or Sin, or some very, very angry mutants. There is a way to get in the underground in this complex, and I believe that's where the memory chi uh, the memory thingamajig module is. So let's get that one first, and after that... The actual artifacts, I believe one of them will be here near the bandit hideout. And I don't really remember where the other were, others were, but I'm sure we'll make it. So, I'm gonna stick to HP for now. We still have quite a lot of bullets, and there is actually a dude here that we could turn a pseudo giant eye to. Or a little bit of cash. Unless he goes fighting the bandits first. There he is. Sergeant Ivano. The job is done. And he also gave us a stash, which is pretty awesome. I don't think I gave expert tools to any of the mechanics in the northern areas. So, while we're at, we're at it, we might also arm some stashes just to deal with that. You know what? Nah, let's, let's just uh, get on with our business. I was thinking of uh, visiting the... Uh, outpost out there. There's usually a Unisig patrol, which I like to farm, because there's only three guys out there. And that makes it a pretty easy thing to deal with. I think I saw something there. Oh, it is a pseudo dog. Oh, it's actually a whole pack of dogs. Now, if my aim is very off, and I do know that uh, I'm not the best shooter out there, but I have actually not played Gamma in a few weeks, maybe even more. I kind of relied on the backlog of videos, and uh, I've... I've um, I just needed a little break from Gamma, because I've played it so much lately, 
and it was starting to get a little bit not really boring just uh same-ish so i took a little break and i'm just coming back to it now so it may take me a little bit to get readjusted to everything oh snork And a pseudo giant. Okay. Pseudo giants, nice and easy. When they do their stomp, just jump, and I'm just gonna use grenades on it. Where are you going? Oh! That jump was a little bit delayed. Right, we swapped to AP here. Let's take a look, see, let's... Let's find out what's in here. I don't see any movement. Oh! There's definitely someone there. And, uh... My game started... Lagging for some reason. Can't see anything from here. Oh, they're not speaking English, so they're not in a SIG, and my gun unloaded. Again. It's sin. I think Hip dealt with the other one. Great. Right, so we pick up everything except weapons and armor. Oh, a 100% pin. That's actually pretty awesome. Just stick that in a box. And I think we should be safe from the emission here. Do we have to go underneath? We have to do that anyway for, for the mission. I'm not sure where the entrance is, so I'm just gonna jump it like this. Okay. Alright, we're back. I waited out the emission so I could uh, hear myself think. Okay, so... That's not it. I don't remember where this is. I think we're gonna have to jump down the elevator shaft. But... I will check upstairs as well, because... sure if it was up here or not. Definitely not there. Okay, so we're gonna have to jump down here. And I don't exactly remember what's awaiting us here. But if there is something, it's definitely gonna be mutants, so we're switching to HP.
can hear some zombies, but they are definitely outside. Okay, there it is, the memory module. And some men. Okay, so we have one anomaly in the swamp. Gravitational and toxic anomalies. I think we can deal with that. It's mostly the toxic that will be the problem here. The oak spine anomaly, from what I remember, we're going to have to climb up a little bit. Uh, not a big deal. And since we're here, might as well take the experimental weapon for rogue as well. This is just a mutant hunt. And finally... I could swear there was another anomaly here. Maybe it will be the next stage. Okay, so which way do we have to go? Did we came come in this way? Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to exit through the sewer. Oh, it's fog. I don't like fog. Right, we're gonna have to wait for Hip, because she has all the stuff I need for fighting anomalies, or going through anomalies. This actually has better chemical resistance than the diamond suit, which is uh, really funny. 15% chem and 58% chem. Okay, that should be enough, I think. So let's take these off and set those up. And let's do a quick run through here and see where that artifact is. Oh yeah, we're already taking heavy damage here. Which I am going to fix right now. Because we definitely don't want these, ar these armors to go past the point where I can fix them. Um, which way should I go? Uh, let's go straight back to where we came. And there it is on the other side. We can get there. It's gonna take a little bit more damage on the way. Okay. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of artifacts here. And one more on this little mm. island here. Another sponge. Okay. <sighs> and the quickest way out. All right. Got a sponge and another sponge. Okay, let's equip our fighting stuff back. And we can do a little fix on our rifle as well. Alright! So that's one artifact out of the way, the way. And next up, we're gonna go find the sample in the Oak Pine Anomaly. Right, I'm just gonna hop up here and... We are taking some rads, so I'm gonna <coughs> take some red resistance. Dogs shouldn't be able to reach me up here. I'm sure Hip can deal with those dogs. Okay, so... If I remember right... This little anomaly is gonna be up there somewhere. So we're gonna have to make our way on these uh, weird tree branches or whatever they are. And there's the sponge. As for the other two artifacts, I think they're actually below. This is risky.
Пиздец, меняю магазин. I got one of them. Down. Is that a pseudo dog? Yes, it is. Пиздец, меняю магазин. Oh, I'm out of bullets for the big gun. Right, those were a lot of dogs. Now for the artifacts. A lot of chemical anomalies down there, so... Just gonna do what we did with the other set of artifacts. Gonna pre-med first. And... This one. And a second. Okay. And we can just get out of here. Perfect. Have a little cigarette. Okay, that's done. Next up. We are going to go grab the experimental weapon, which is actually a Gauss rifle for Rogue. We maybe shouldn't waste hyper rifle ammo. Shut up. There's definitely another one somewhere. Oh, and there's the poltergeist. One of them. And this is not a very safe place to fight them, honestly. Okay, that's one. Were there any... Not gonna take the powder can. We have enough. Um, we have enough gunpowder at home. Okay, and I'm gonna do a quick little test test to see if there are any more poltergeists around here. So I'm just gonna run. If they were underground, we would have probably seen the green turning white on us. Okay. So, oh, this should be nice and easy. There's usually nothing in the tunnels except the poltergeists, but we already met one of them. We're just gonna go all the way down. If, from what I remember, if we take this building, we come out right to the Gauss rifle. Gonna grab everything here, and here it is, item number 62. Okay. And from here, we're just gonna make our way back to Rogue nice and easy. So, I will actually see you there. Oh. You heard that, right? Right. 
remember, it's time to pause the video. Like and subscribe. Because that is a chimera and for once, we're sneaking up on it. And there's two of them, I just spotted one with the corner of my eye. Or in the corner of my eye, and it's gone. Right, one more. Oh, very nice, we didn't even have to dodge sideways. Where is the other one? Right, so I originally wanted to go straight back to the Skadovsk, but I decided I'll Take a quick run through the mercenary base, deal with these mutants over here, and uh, turn in the artifact missions as well. The only issue with that is we're going to have to pass by this uh, little compound here. You never know what's here. Could be monolith, could be mercs, friendly mercs. Or could be something way more dangerous. Can't see anyone here right now. And never be too careful. And I, I got a feeling. Oh, there he is. It's Unisig. How am I missing so much? There we go. One's down. Question is, are there more? Because there's almost never a single UNISG soldier running around. Gonna have to go getting close. ambushes I think here looks like there's no one inside right I think we're clear if there was anyone they would have aggroed by now I'm just gonna take an anti-rad too many rats here. <laughs> An FN 2000. It's such a funny weapon. Okay have a minute of rat resistance but I'm gonna take another one because sometimes it does get a little radioactive in here and I did switch to AP because you never know what you'll meet around here again Zaton is always weird with the spawns it's Unisig again Uh, I will just for safety. You can hear the exosuit, right? <laughs> hey, we are back. All right. Not sure if we're done yet. Hip isn't aggroed anymore. But that doesn't always mean there's no one left. At least they dealt with the bandit for me. Oh, a vector. So funny, I'm always so hopeful when I kill Unisig, but now I realize 
even if that fabled Nosra drops, I can't pick it up. That doesn't mean I'll, I won't take anything else, but yeah, it it hurts. <laughs> Okay, I think that was it. Hello, sir. <laughs> well, there you have it. An exoskeleton. But we can't do anything with it. And a KS-12. Uh, why, why did I invent these rules? Okay. Easy peasy, Professor. Your equipment was still there, together with the data, and I managed to get your samples. <laughs> Finally, some good news. This scan data seems interesting, though. What is it, Professor? Sad news. Our brother stopped communicating. There is no reason to hope for the best. Most likely he died. There is a giga anomaly in the center of the zone. It is almost impossible to pass it. We will think about how to solve this problem. It might be worth clarifying the calculations. In the zone, you always have to think first and then act. Hmm. Some of these readings just don't make sense. Would you be willing to check them out for me? If you find any artifacts, bring them back to me. I can pay you well. Right, claw anomaly, boiler anomaly, and... Preobrazhensky anomaly, I think. Right, let's do a quick anti-rad. And... Am I actually... no. I thought I was out for a second. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick trip to the Skadovsk. Gonna turn in the missions we took. So I want to check that location first. So funny enough, it only happened once that I saw a monolith squad there, and never again. But I still double check every time since then. Ooh, this is beautiful. Hmm. Can never get enough of Talker Gamma's sunsets. Okay, let's have a little talk to Rogue. Rogue. Take a look at this. So, most of you probably already know the main story. I'm not gonna well, stick so around and read it. Sure the job is done. Alright, so we finished selling all our stuff, we made a little bit of money, we're up to 80,000, up to 90, but I bought an MRE, and uh, I also took a little bit of a nap until 8am, because it was starting to get dark by the time uh, I finished dealing with the shopping and the repairing, so I decided to take a little nap, and I remember that Rogue can actually join us right now. He's supposed to lead us to, through Jupiter and Jupiter Underground, but uh, you know what? I think I'll take him with me, for a little while at least. Is that... Oh, look, it's a unicorn. It's a clear sky in Zaton. <laughs> Okay, so, let's go deal with the rest of the artifacts. Um, right now, I think we're actually going to have to take out the bandit base. And I think Rogue will, will be amazing in helping us deal with that. Because being a mission critical NPC, he can still die, anyone. And Stalker can die, I think. Except Sidorovich. Uh, he's uh, 
some sort of immortal being. But he does have a huge amount of hit points and he is actually pretty good for an NPC. So having him with us is really amazing. Also, he has a PKM, so <laughs> if that doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. I think those were all of them. I don't think I, I even want to go loot those guys, simply because it's pretty radioactive there and Right now, I value one radiation drug more than I value bandit loot. There's an anomaly out there, and it is a burning anomaly. And I think I just... Mm, I was gonna say, I think I just saw an artifact, but... No, that was just the burner sparks. Of course, there is an artifact right there. But we are going to have to take our actual suit. Other than that, do we have anything that protects, the, protects against burning? Not really. Yeah, except that 62% burn resistance that we have off of the suit... You could say we are pretty much screwed. That's chemical, that's psychic. Right, well... This will have to do, unfortunately. Okay, that's one, and I don't think oh. I want to jump down there to take the other one. So, for now, this will have to do. We did get our artifact. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure how you'd get out if you jump down there. I never cried. I never will, probably. Not sure where the clear sky guys are running. If they made it this far, maybe they want to join? One of them experienced, and one's a veteran, I think. Nah, they don't. Alright, any respawns at the ranger station? Alright, there's Unisig in there. No grenades, thank you. And it sounds like there is one up top. Uh, butcher. I hate the rats here. Right. Take the good anti-rad. Or rad resist. And one of these. And I think we should be good this time. Um, I have some games where I, I would pay for an exoskeleton and I can't find one. And now that I can pick them up, um, I mean, y you can see what's happening here, right? It's the game. It knows.
Okay. And it's time for this. Okay. That's not how you should do it. Uh, but we did manage to get out of it, so at least there's that. Now, the right way to do it, if I remember correctly, is uh, there is a um, ladder somewhere. Right there. You can see it. The black line thing. See there? And you can just walk all the way... all the way to the actual artifact. Now, I hope this doesn't pull me in. There we go. And it's just as it says. Easy. Why risk going through there again? Ha! It didn't get me. Okay. So, yeah, you can safely walk all the way to this ladder here. And you can just walk up the catwalk or whatever walkway you call it. And just drop down and take the artifact. It's not hard at all. But um, I just had to do it my way, right? <laughs> That's a brewer over there. I'm not a police officer. Putting your hands up doesn't help. It's a good thing I only had one bullet, because I was shooting AP. Right, where are you, you little... Okay. Right, next up, claw. The claw. The claw only. And... You know what? I'm gonna go straight that way. Even... Oh, that's a snork. Nope. Here's another one. What? I'm just gonna take some distance and let our guys deal with it. That, that was very chaotic and stupid. Okay. Maybe not stay too close to that thing. I haven't really met these things often. I don't really know their attack patterns yet. I'm not talking about the cats. Was...
God damn, these are fast. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Claw anomaly, which is actually a gravitational anomaly mostly. I think. And there's already an artifact, but I think it's below. But that's not what interests us. What we will have to do is actually get inside here, if I remember correctly. Now, the problem with this place is it is chock full of snorks. Oh, it wasn't this way. Okay, let's try this again. There's definitely an artifact here. It's a signet. We can just grab that. No problem. Okay. So there's gotta be another en entrance around here. I always forget. There it is. And this one's a bit scary, especially since we already ran out of HP ammo and it's very radioactive, so... We probably don't need so much rad protection, but you know what? I'd, I'd rather be safe than sorry. sorry. And... cigarettes. Now, it's at this point I regret I don't have a shotgun with me. Nothing yet. That's one. That one's dead. Good thing they don't aggro so easily. Alright, we found the exit. So, just remember where that is. And from here, I'm actually kind of afraid to pull out the artifact detector. Exactly because of that. Okay, I think that was the only one. Okay, let's go save Hip and Rogue. Because it sounds like they're in a little bit of a tr of trouble. Смена магазина! Okay, let, let's just get out of here. I don't think it's worth the risk staying any, any longer. Where was it? Right here. And we can just get out. Now, if you want, want this thing mapped, so it's easier to find next time, you can just slow down the video and uh, see the way I went. Because there's no way I'm going to do that again. And honestly, I don't really know how I did it myself. <laughs> but these were the free artifacts. So we're just going to head back to the professor. And turn everything in. And after that, we will head back to the Skadovsk. And I think we will call it a day. Okay, we're back at the ranger station. We still have a little bit of anti-rad on the clock, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to... Get back here. Oh, calm down. I don't have a weapon. What are you gonna do with that arm cell anyway? Right. So, 
I checked the locations you mentioned and found these artifacts. Are these the ones you need? Yes, amazing! We are making great progress here, my friend. Here is your reward. Do you have anything else I can help you with? Thanks for the invaluable help. I still need to do some calculations. And you move to the north of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The head of our group, Professor Skabinski, is already there. I have no idea how he got through there, but please hurry. He probably no. needs your help. Yes, sir. No, he doesn't. The monolith actually completely ignores him. Right. But, uh... We're not gonna make our way there just now. If we are going to head to the north... Um, the north courtyard of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, we are going to have to prepare a little bit. Because we are starting to run out of ammo. We do have AP. We could take care of Monolith and Sin. Unfortunately, in the nuclear power plant courtyard, there are oftentimes pretty big mutants. And I'm not confident going in there with absolutely no HP ammo. So, before that, probably between episodes off screen, I will go down back to uh, Jupiter. And uh, maybe do a few more missions, get a little... Not geared up, but a little bit more prepared for our... Uh, trip into the nuclear power plant. But until then, we actually managed to do quite a lot today. We haven't left Zaton, which is pretty interesting, but we managed to finish both the artifact missions for the ecologist here. I always forget his name, it's no longer important. We also did the uh, experimental weapon mission and we also did a few missions uh, along the way so we actually did no. a whole yeah, so so. full run around Zaton which was pretty fun we weren't really in any danger at any time I mean we did take a few big shots from the unisig inside the ranger station but other than that, even the pseudo-giants were pretty okay. I was more afraid of hip dying than myself. But all in all, a pretty good and lucrative episode. Next time, we will head to the nuclear power plant courtyard and talk to the doctor. Either that or... I did say we still need to do the secondary missions for the clearing the mutants for the Agroprom Underground and Laboratory X-16, which is the Miracle Machine. And since we're going south anyway, I'm thinking we might as well do a little uh, loop through Yantar and Agroprom and finish those in one episode as well. We have pretty good gear compared to what we had originally. And the scariest things in those laboratories are point-blank controllers. But we do have the means to get our Psi resistance to maximum, which means if the controllers don't get us clo don't get close enough to affect us with the uh, weird aura, I just heard something. If the controllers don't get us with the weird aura... Yes, there we go. So for one last time today, pause the video, like and subscribe. If you already liked, don't touch that button again. I wonder what's what I, I wonder if it can jump all the way here. You know what? Experiment time. Let's see what it's gonna do. Because I'm really curious.
Huh? Oh! Okay, never mind. Experiment's over.